Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I've got part one today of my 10 cards one kit using the Simon Says Stamp May 2018 card kit. I'm gonna give you a quick look at what's in the kit, but I wanted to send a reminder to Yolanda. Yolanda, you were the winner of my My Monthly Hero card kit giveaway, and I haven't heard from you, so please make sure you send me an email. All of my information is below in the description box. Uh, let me know your address and I will get your kit out in the mail to you. Uh, today is the 23rd of May. I'm going to leave this open and wait to hear from you until the end of the month. And then if I don't hear anything, I'm going to do another uh, random drawing and I will go ahead and send it out to someone else. So make sure you get back to me uh, no later than May 31st. Okay, so jumping into card number one, I'm going to use my MFT Blueprints 32 frame die and I'll trim out a frame from this really pretty heart paper. I loved this. And already with this first card, I'm doing a little bit of stamp surgery. Um, I love these huge sentiments, but they made it a little difficult to sort of have, you know, matching sentiments on the outside and inside. So I ended up trimming off the ever with the period and I'm going to use that on the inside of the card. And what I'm doing here is just using the portion that says you are simply the best and I'm lining that up. I'm going to create a pencil line there and then I'm going to trim off that top corner of my background. So I'll go ahead and grab my ATG gun and then I'm going to place that on the top of my card base. And this is a card base made from MFT's Field Day cardstock. So next I'm going to take that to my Misty and I'm going to stamp directly on top of that card base there. I had seen some people using uh, VersaFine Onyx Black and they've said that it is actually much better or they've found that they like it much better to stamp with the black ink and then do the heat, heat embossing with some clear embossing powder. So I thought I would give that a try and I have to say I agree, I, I really, really like that. So I'm probably gonna just forego my black embossing powder. I always seem to get extra speckles somewhere else, um, no matter how much I brush it off or how much powder I use. So this worked really great and I'm definitely, I think, gonna be using the clear with this black ink from now on. So for the inside of a card, I'm using my trusty Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And I've grabbed that uh, portion of the sentiment that I cut off. And I'm just gonna stamp that again using this VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. Then I grabbed some of the heart stickers that came in the kit and I chose three of those and just placed them along the edge to sort of pull those hearts uh, off of the paper and blend the two sides of the card together. Here I'll go ahead and attach my panel on the inside of the card. And that will complete card number one. So for card number two, I'm again doing a different type of layout. I took my pattern paper and laid that on the top of my card base and just made myself some pencil lines so that I would remember where I wanted to place that down. And I'll attach that there with some ATG. Then I'll go ahead and trim off the uh, excess off of the side. I'm gonna use a heart cutout that I made from some just regular black cardstock. And then here I'm stamping the sentiment, you have a beautiful. 
uh, from the smaller stamp set as well as this hummingbird. And I'm again using this VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I go ahead and use this um, throughout the remainder of the video. Here I'm using my Nuvo glue just to attach my die cut. And then I'm going to take some of those puffy stickers and just create a little bouquet for the hummingbird to be drinking out of. And I think I forgot to mention, um, but this cardstock or card is made from MFT's pineapple cardstock. For the inside of the card, I'm again using a Nina panel trimmed to 4 by 5 and a quarter. I've added this uh, dotted line or dashed line along the bottom and I'm using the blue ink that came in the card kit. And then I'm again going to go ahead and take that hummingbird and I will stamp that uh, just above on the left hand side there. I'll go ahead and then place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number two. For card number three, I'm again using my MFT Blueprints 32 frame die. I'm gonna trim out these pink and red stripes from this background paper. And then I'm gonna attach that to one of the gray card bases that came in the kit. Next, I'm gonna grab my stickers and I wanted to use this uh, Blame It On My Wild Heart sticker. I got that down and then I started thinking it was just a little too simple. So here I went ahead and grabbed some post-it tape and from my stash, this is so old, um, but it's called Sprinklers and the color is Comet Tail. I'm not sure if they make it anymore. It's basically just um, some sprayable ink and uh, it happened to be in this orangish yellow color that matched the yellow, a uh, little bit of yellow on the paper really well. So I added that to one of my acrylic blocks and I'm just using a paintbrush to splatter that all over the background. And I'll peel that away and my sentiment is protected. So I had some washi tape. This I think was actually from a paper pumpkin kit. I'm not positive. Um, it's a very, very light blue, uh, which matched again really well with that sticker. So I've torn that and placed it along the bottom of this Nina panel. And then I also took that dashed line again, and I'm gonna stamp that along the bottom as well as on one of the sides coming down from the top, again using that Onyx Black ink. Of course, I'll go ahead and use my ATG to attach that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number three. For card number four, I'm gonna use this beautiful pink paper. This was my favorite from the whole um, pack of pattern papers. And I'm gonna attach that, again, trying to do something a little different. I'm only gonna leave a border um, along the side and bottom edge there, and then I will trim that off. I'm using this huge stamp that says, I wish we lived closer, pretty sure we would do everything together. And I'm again gonna stamp that using um, that Onyx Black ink. And I've left that over to the side so that I can add a little something um, on the right hand side. So 
So here I'm again going into my washi stash and I have this thin, um, pretty, it's almost a robin's egg blue sort of turquoise color. And I wanted it to be a little thicker, so I'm just doubling that up. You really can't tell unless you get super close to it. And I will just trim that off um, since I've already attached my panel to my card base. And then I felt like it needed a little something more, so I grabbed another one of those heart stickers and just placed that on top of the banner there. For the inside, again, I've got my Nina panel, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment, let's catch up soon. And then to finish that up, I added a blue stripe of that washi along the bottom. I'll place that on the inside of my orange card base. And that will complete card number four. For card number five, I'm going to use some of this library paper along with that very light yellow and white, uh, it's sort of a triangle pattern paper. So I'm going to start out by layering um, down this lighter paper and I'm leaving just a tiny bit of that blue edge of the card base. Then of course I'll trim off the excess on the side. And then I grab some of my scotch foam tape and I've added that along the back of the library paper. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this, only up at the top of the card base. So I'll leave just a little bit of that blue edge uh, peeking out behind these. And then of course trim off the excess. For this sentiment, I'm gonna go again use one of those heart uh, die cuts. And I've got that in a really pretty yellow color. And then I've got the sentiment, I love your kind. And I'm stamping that again using that onyx black ink. Here I'll grab my Nouveau glue and I'll go ahead and place that heart cut out below that. And then for a little something extra, I went ahead and grabbed the matching set of books as well as that um, matching little plant and added those off to the side. For the inside of my card, I'm just going to stamp directly on the card base and I've got the sentiment, you are simply the best ever. I just put those two pieces back together again and I'm again stamping with that onyx black ink. And that will complete card number five. Here is a quick look back at the cards from today. You'll find additional photos as well as a full list of supplies at my blog post linked in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.